Well, tonight's Get in the Zone sponsor is Matt's Heating and Cooling. Is your home in the energy efficient zone? Call Matt's Heating and Cooling or go to mattsheating.com to schedule your free estimate. Matt's Heating and Cooling, get your home in the zone. Scott Nurse in the zone with us, fresh off the Allen East Spencerville game. We talked very briefly about the idea that, that kind of whoever was the most physical team, and we heard both coaches, I think, talk about this throughout the week. Whoever's the most physical won, and it looked like it was tonight was Allen East. Last year, Spencerville, tonight was the Mustangs. Yeah, I th think the defense definitely was the key in the whole matchup. So, uh, Spencerville, the pass defense was a little bit suspect tonight. Allen East run defense was fantastic. They really did a nice job. Their 3 5 defense really matches up well with that wing T offense and really didn't allow Spencerville to, to get off and get anything going. So it was a great job by the defense. And of course, your two stars rose up uh, as we expected. Clum was 19 to 28, 226 yards. So he went over that 1,000 yard mark. And then Crumrine. Uh, averaging, coming in, averaging 100 yards a game, got 109, made key catches when they needed it most on third and fourth down conversion. So it's a great game. And the defense is too. Yeah, I think you saw there are different times, and you'll see this when you see the game in its entirety tonight. You saw where there were a couple times where the teams kind of had to adjust a little bit. You saw Allen East, you know, passing attack, uh, Clum, Crum Ryan, and others. You saw a running game kind of open up for Allen East a little bit too. You saw some run. You saw a running touchdown, and then you saw for Spencerville, uh, they they worked in a little bit of a, a passing attack more yeah, they, than they're used to. Yeah, they had to, I think. Uh, and, and you're absolutely right. Allen East had good balance tonight. They had a field goal, so they showed what they can do in multiple respects. It's going to be an interesting battle when they uh, go to Columbus Grove. I think that'll be a great game. Over on the other side of the semifinal tonight, the NWC semifinal, Columbus Grove getting the win over Crestview. And it was one of those where we weren't really sure how competitive it was going to be. We, we figured, at least I thought, we were going to have a, a pretty competitive contest. Crestview, or I'm sorry, Columbus Grove very quickly scores 10 points, and you're thinking, I mean, maybe this is it. Maybe, maybe the Knights fold, but they hung with them. They were down 24 to 10 at one point, uh, fought their way back, was 24-23, and it's kind of too much Columbus Grove, which we, we've heard a lot of that this year with Columbus Grove's opponents, just too much Bulldogs at the end. Yeah, they, they put a lot of pressure on you throughout the entire game, and a lot of times you can hang with it for a while, but eventually you just kind of break. Um, Reynolds is an excellent quarterback. Gabe Clement is like, you know, a video game. I mean, every game he's just got tremendous highlights. He, he makes things happen. And uh, I like John Benal as a receiver. Excellent receiver, good defensive back. We saw him with a pick tonight. So, I mean, uh, I think this is going to be a really competitive game. And surprisingly, all of that offense, the defense is going to determine the winner. So we've got a rematch from a couple of weeks ago, Allen East and Columbus Grove. And, you know, as you said, this one is probably going to be one of those where you look at the offensive numbers and both these teams can really put it up. Uh, you saw a lot of defensive plays in that last game, and one of the things that I heard from a lot of Allen East people that I talked to was we can't let Columbus Grove get off to a big lead. If we let the Bulldogs get out to a 14-0, 17-0 lead, it's so difficult to catch them. We saw that a couple weeks ago, so you got to be thinking that's what Allen East coach, that's what the whole organization is thinking, like we can't let the Bulldogs get out to a big lead. Well, and they're the kind of team that gains confidence, exactly what you're talking about. You give them a little lead, they get confident, they, and they start to produce higher level, and then they gain more confidence. So you really got to focus on that start of the game, staying competitive, keeping them in check, and being able to you know, hold that offense down for as long as you can. And for Reynolds and Clement, and again, just so many weapons on that Columbus Grove attack. It's really a team that you you have to play all four quarters against. And if you don't put together 48 solid minutes of football, uh, Columbus Grove is a very uh, tough nut to crack. Well, they are. But let me tell you, I saw Allen East tonight defensively. That 3-5 defense is fantastic. They got three guys up front that really hold their own. And then they got five guys that are free to move and pursue the football. They do a great job in pass coverage. And, and I really think that they're going to rise to the challenge. It will be a very competitive game. Um, and, and I don't think this it's going to be as high scoring as many may think. It'll be interesting to see that. However it turns out, Scott Nurse in the zone with us. Scott, <laughs> thank you very much. Go rest up, and we'll, we'll see you again real soon. Thank you. We'll have Alan East in Spencerville next week on WOSN. That'll be our live broadcast. Looking forward to bringing that one to you.